How far would your customers say you and your team are clearing the customer service performance bar? By a few inches? Sliding by? Are you clearing it far and wide? Well, let me explain first off what I mean by the customer service performance bar. I don't know if you're facing this, but I think you might be. But what I'm experiencing more and more is that the level of service received from tellers, telephone representatives, anyone that I'm typically interacting with lately is somewhat um, questionable, if not bordering on downright rude. I don't know about you, but when I call a representative for service, maybe answering questions about a bill or placing an order and needing something to be adjusted, anything other than rudeness is now coming across as good customer service. So how far are you and your team clearing that performance bar? Are you leaving customers with an experience that they are tolerating or that they are enjoying? Recent reports are coming out that with the large volume of returns based upon online orders, organizations are being judged by how easy and effective it is to return products that are ordered. Difficult return processes, difficult customer service interactions are directly impacting the number of times a customer may buy from them again. Easy to buy, easy to return equals more purchases. Difficult to buy, difficult to return equals less purchases. So when you're looking at clearing a customer service performance bar, how easy is your team making it for your external customers to interact with team members pleasantly, comfortably, and to get thorough information or thorough transactions processed quickly? In the same strain, how comfortable and how competent is your team in ensuring that your internal customer interactions are pleasant, competent, and thorough. As the old adage goes, how we treat our internal customers affects how we treat our external customers. We can't treat external customers well until we treat our internal customers well. So how are we doing? Are you clearing the customer service performance bar by how you treat one another internally? Are you pleasant? Are you thorough? Are you productive? Too often we forget to reinforce this message seriously. We talk about it, we say it's important, we might offer a class or two to our team members, but we don't make it a part of our company culture. Who we are in those little interactions speaks volumes about the type of an organization we're going to be, the type of people we attract to come and work with us, the type of people we retain, and the types of customers who come back time and time again. So how are you and your team clearing the customer service performance bar?